y'all. Oh. You know you watching Relationship Ish, and that is on. Period. Period. I love recording videos for you guys because I just I feel like y'all are here. But what you don't feel like they like here? Go ahead. Okay, y'all. So today, in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, <laughs> tell them, tell them what today's right, video. In honor of Valentine's Day <laughs> and Young Love, we're gonna talk about. The things that we have done to impress other people, like other girls, other boys, you know what I'm saying? Things that we have done that's like kind of crazy, like, Let me or just outlandish. Let me rephrase that. The things we have done to impress a significant other or somebody that we liked, this stuff is crazy. That's how you say it. Her stuff. Is crazy. But before we get into that, guys, I just got to... Listen, oh, I just yeah, got to shout out Sky High New York City official for these sweatsuits because these are bomb. Let me, y'all see the front, right? Y'all see the front? Okay, hold up, hold up. We're not even done. We're not even done. Hold up. Yeah, show them the back. Show them the back. Look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back. Stand up straight with your back. See, see if I stand up straight. Oh, Period. They seen it. And then wait. Hold up. Ooh, let me make sure my wig's going to fall off. Y'all see the, Y'all see it. Y'all see sky high, y'all see it. And then mm. hold up, make sure my wig don't come off. Make sure my wig don't come off. Okay, and then the pants. Boom. Boom. The pants. Boom. Boom. Hold up. Hold up. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Period. Okay. And their sets, their sets be their sweatsuits be so inexpensive. Like their whole sweatsuits, you can get one. Um, they have one for a $60 sweatsuit, they have a $90 sweatsuit. So these are mad affordable. And this is a black owned business. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna say it again. It is a black owned business. It is a she's a college student trying to, you know, hustle, spread the word about her business. So make sure that y'all tune in. We're gonna have the link in our bio. Make sure that you click it and check out the other stuff. Cause honestly, we're always wearing their sweats, their hoodies, Facts. and it's it's so comfortable. It's a vibe. Let's get into this video, y'all. All right. So you wanna go first? I'll let you go first. Ladies first. Y'all, so I sprayed perfume in my mouth to impress this guy that I was talking to. Why would you spray perfume in your mouth, bro? And here's why. And it ended terribly, but we're going to get to that, okay? So... You need to call the CDC. Poison control. Y'all, so I was like 12, 13, 14, don't remember the exact age. And it was this guy that I was talking you to. was on 13 years old spraying perfume in your mouth, bro? <laughs> Shut your goofy ass up. So, I'm not stupid. So, I'm not stupid. I was young and dumb, and I thought I was in love. Oh, my gosh. So, basically, I had never met him before. We, was, we talked on kids for, like, a year, year and a half, whatever. And I had never Whoa, met him. Oh, so you did this for a person you even... So, I'm explaining why. God, so, yes. mind you, me, my mom, and my brother, we in the car, driving to KP, Kings Plaza in New York. If you know, you know. And... I was just texting him. We were just texting. I'm like, yo, what you, like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm at um KP with my dad. My heart sunk. I was like, Ugh. you're telling me the guy that I've been feeling to see, the guy that I think I'm in love with, is in KP and we've never met before. I got so excited. It was like, <gasps> it was like excited. It was like excitedness. I was like nerves, like butterflies. It was a mixture. So my instant thought was, oh my gosh, like I got to see him. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like that's crazy because I'm on my way to KP now with my family, but I'm going to ditch them and I'm going to come see you. So I'm in a car like, yo, like I didn't, you know, you, you're supposed to plan for that stuff. Like make sure you got your hair done, nails done, everything dead. You look cute and all of that. But you're like 13. I know. You just make me not want to have a daughter eventually. Anyways, like, yikes. you're bugging. Yes. Anyways, you so scary. I'm sitting in the car thinking like, is my breath hot? Like, <laughs> is my breath hot? So Cause now I'm thinking like, okay, like probably gonna be our first kiss. Like, is my breath hot? So I asked my mom, I asked my brother like, oh, y'all have gum, y'all have mints? They both like, no, we don't have anything. So I'm sitting there panicking because I can't meet the guy that I really, really like the first time and my breath is hot or something. So the only thing that was in the car was a bottle of perfume. And my dumb ass literally picked the bottle of perfume. I kind of like turned because me and my brother in the back seat. So I didn't want him to see what I was doing. So I kind of turned like, you know, angled myself to him. 
and I sprayed it in my mouth first. The most disgusting taste I've ever tasted. It oh, tastes no, you don't see. Like what? It tasted like pure dutty alcohol, bro. It was disgusting. So fast forward, I get to the mall. I ditch my family, tell him I'm going to some store. He ditches his dad, but his dad's doing Best Buy. But he was mad, mad scary. Like, I, I was scary, but he was scary, scary. So we literally linked for, like, two minutes. It was kind of awkward because it was our first time seeing each other. And it was like, hi, gave each other a peck. And then that was it. Y'all, I never asked myself, was it worth it? <laughs> oh, I asked you something now. Was it worth it? No. I feel like at that time, it it was. No. But looking back, I was so slow. I was so stupid. But only I could say I was stupid. Shut your mouth. I can see. But no, you cannot. But y'all, as soon as I left Best Buy and I'm like in the mall from family moms and Macy's now, I started feeling mad dizzy. Like ridiculously dizzy. Like my brain was spinning. Everything, it was just hurting. But nobody knew what I had done. Like, my mom didn't know, brother didn't know. So I'm just telling her, like, mom, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. She's not taking it seriously because she don't know that her daughter sprayed perfume in her mouth. So she's like, all right, when I'm done shopping, bro, I'm in Macy's holding on to racks, like... Dragged it. Oh, oh I'm mad. <laughs> How much sprays you spray? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Probably, nah, probably she's only like, one or two. Probably only one or two because the taste was so bad. But I was like so dizzy, bro. We got home. I didn't even make it to my bedroom. She I literally like laid out now. on the laid out on the couch and just like I just felt so sick. I thought I had to go to the hospital. It's okay. I was it was just It's okay. It's okay. It was bad, y'all. It's okay. I think that's the dumbest thing I've done for somebody that I've like sprayed perfume in my mouth to get a peck kiss. Top that one. I'm not gonna try to top this. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's uh, your story? My story. Do I know it? No, nah, I don't even think you know it because I don't really talk about it like that. It doesn't mm. matter. Um, I was probably about like maybe like twelve, and I just coming back from Grenada. There's a girl that I was dating at the time. Mm, dating other girls? Hmm. Bro, all right. Let me not even say that because <laughs> twelve. Not play. Don't even count. It dead don't count. Whatever. Anyway. So I'm coming, I'm in Grenada, and I'm coming back from Grenada, and I go to the gift shop, and I see mad LV in there, mad drip in there, or drip, you feel me? It was in the, it was in like one of them gift shops, right? In Grenada or back in, in the Grenada, US? Okay. Bro, you probably know that. Crazy. So I see it in there, it's mad cheap. It's like $20, $30. I'm like, oh yeah. Want some Louis? That's some Louis, bro. You should have knew that was fake. I already see where the story going, but go bro, ahead. Bro, but I'm not into all of that. I'm 12. I'm 12. I don't care about that. Like, I play video games. I play basketball. And that's it. I got a girl. Isn't like, that what you do now at 22? Oh, really? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, my cousin, like, because I already knew. I was like, bro, this is probably mad fake. This is mad fake. My cousin go go tell me. She's like, nah, that's real. That's real. I'm like. Yeah, cut his cousin on bang with him. What I'm cousin like, was this? Don't worry about which cousin it is. I got a lot of cousins. Wait, tell me. me. Tell no, me. I'm not telling you no cousins. Which right? cousin was this? I'm not telling you. I'll tell you Fine. later. I'll tell you later. What's in my ears? Anyway. Man? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> man. Well, uh, okay, go ahead. Anyway. um, So, yeah, I buy it. Whatever. I come back to the States and I think it was her birthday or whatever date it was, whatever important date it was. And I put in a bag, do all of that, you know, because you know me, I like to feel like the man always and forever. I just always like to feel like the man. So I buy it, give it to her. And well, first I show her friends. Her friends like, oh, my God, you got her LV. I'm like, yeah, bro. These you know me. You know me. I'm out here. <laughs> you know me? So I mean, low key. In, in middle school, I thought I was had mad money too. I'm not even gonna lie, but not like oh, money. Oh, you have money in middle school? What you doing? Nah, but a middle school of money, if you go to, like, if you come to middle school with, like, $20, you dead got bread. Low key, okay. You dead ass, you go to the store, you, bro, you don't got a dollar? I got you. Go get a, go get an Arizona, bro. We're not drinking no bummies today. We're drinking oh, Arizona. No. Like, me? Arizona's way off from bummies. But go ahead, back to your story. <sighs> exactly. Anyway, I'll give it to her. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, blah blah. She fiending over it, or maybe she wasn't even fiending. Maybe in my head she was fiending. Probably in his Who head. Who knows, bro? 
But then now I really just think about it. Like, I was 12. Nobody expects me to have money. I was trying to front like I got this big old expense. It was a Louis wallet. It was a wallet. Yeah. And it was just like, it was just sad. Now that I think about it. Because it's like, damn, bro, you really bought her some fake stuff. Did she ever find out and like tell you? I mean, we probably, bro, I've never talked to her since forever. So mm. Yes, I mean, keep it that way. Good. <laughs> I'm going to hit her up too. You know, I'm going to ask I'm about it. I'm going to ask about it. Be like, yo, you ever find out? <laughs> Let me see what she's saying. She's probably like, I still use it to this day. Was so better. My nah, story was better. Your story was whack. Mine was more. Yours was just like, why would you do that? That's just dumb. Go drink a, a bottle of rubber alcohol for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm just saying. Yo, that. we want to hear y'all's story. So if you have not already, make sure that you like this video, that you subscribe to our channel because we lit. We want y'all to be lit with us. You feel me? Lit gang. And comment your story. What's the craziest, weirdest, dumbest thing you've mm. done for somebody that you liked? Or that was your significant other? Let's hear. You feel me? Or DM us on our Instagram at relationship-ish underscore if you want to stay anonymous. You feel me? Because we want to know regardless. Mm. We love y'all. And we'll see y'all next video. Peace. Good job. Psych. <laughs>